Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use story spheres to create simple digital stories. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So I'm at storiespheres.com and I'm already logged in. I logged in using my Google account, but you can also create an account using any email that you would like. And let's go ahead and create our story sphere. Now, I'm going to do this by uploading a 360 image that I captured using the Street View app on my phone. And if you want to know how to do that, I have a video linked up down below on how to do that. Let's just call this one here the Hannibal Hamlin Green. Let's say this is the common green space in front of Hannibal Hamlin's estate. Those of you who don't know who Hannibal Hamlin was, he was Abraham Lincoln's first vice president. So I've written my description. Now I want to go in and add in the file that I want to use. So on the left-hand side here, I have this option here for a 360 sphere. Let's upload the image. Now I have the image. Again, I recorded that using my phone, captured that using the Street View app on my phone. And I'm going to go and now use that Hannibal Hamlin 360 sphere that I have on my desktop. I'm going to import that right in here. And now you can go along and spin around and look inside there. So now I want to go in and add some audio. So I'd like to add some audio to this. Now, to record the audio, I'm going to have to use a third service or a third party service. A simple way to do it is to go to onlinevoicerecorder.com, online-voice-recorder.com hit the record button and start talking. This is a view of Hannibal Hamlin's estate. We're looking at the front of the house. This picture was taken from the center of the green, the common green that's in front of his estate. And we can trim this down a little bit. We'll save that. It's going to save as an mp3 file right on my desktop. So now I'll go back in and upload that file. There it is. This is a view of Hannibal Hamlin's estate. So I just muted it. Now you'll notice it has this little ring here. Well, I want to reposition that. So I can move this around. We can make this as a hot spot, and then it will only play when we're looking at this as opposed to being in the background itself. Okay. Now we can also adjust it to make it smaller or larger. We can move it that way on the screen. We can also move it this way on the screen. So if I want to make it appear only if you're looking at the rock or right at the very front of the house. You can do so right there. So now I have my audio file in there. You can see I still have a little bit more space. I can upload another file if I want. Okay. Now, if I have made multiple spe spheres, I can link them together here, but I'm only going to do one right now. And then let's save it. So once I've saved it, I can make it public if I want to and put it in the public gallery. I can also get this option here to embed it into my web page or into my blog post. And if you've ever embedded a video into a blog post or web page, the process is the same. Copy that embed code and paste it where you want it to appear. And we can choose to make it responsive or a fixed size so that it fits on the screen that we want it to fit on. And we can also just preview it right here as well. And that's what it looks like.
There's my photosphere. And there's the sound. He turned the sound back on. Lynn's estate. We're looking at the front of the house. This and I've muted the sound again. So that's how you can create a simple digital story, an immersive story using storyspheres.com. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.